The kindergarten construction project is brand new for kindergarten. Um, we decided to do it this year based on what was going on outside. Um, it was right there in our backyard. We asked kids, what do they know about construction? We asked kids, what do you think about when you hear the word construction? We had them chatting with each other. We had them drawing pictures and letting us know just what their beginning ideas were. They had all these pieces and then we kind of met as a team as teachers and thought, okay, what can we teach into this so that we can kind of solidify their understanding of the construction process. You know, the study, um, we had all the kids bring in something that represented construction. So if they had construction storybooks or information books, if they had toys, whatever they had, they brought in. And one little girl brought one in and she was like, but this is my brother's and I think construction is boring. So we, um, watched her throughout the study and as the study continued even though she said it was boring she was one of the kids that was walking in saying there's stairs today yeah. or today they're painting we had mr green who is a parent here but also an architect so he came in and talked about the inspiration that architects get met with Mr. Jason Strauss, who is another parent and also a general contractor. So he came in with um, a great slideshow presentation to teach the children the process of building a house from start to finish. Mrs. Rawls, who um, actually works for Harvard Jolly um, and is a parent of one of the students in my class, um, came and showed construction that's going on at their building. And then we also um, had uh, Mr. Johnson, who is the field supervisor yes. for the Shorecrest construction. He also brought a skid steer yeah. um, the vehicle out for the kids to walk around to touch to yeah. draw um, ask questions about so that was I think very exciting for the kids um, there easy. were days that we pulled out the ladder and put it right up against the fence and climbed up and did some observations of the site happening here it became such an exciting thing to be able to see on a daily basis, you know, oh my goodness, there's stairs that we could see going up. I think no matter what, they were walking by, there was so much action and, and so yeah. many things happening that it was capturing their attention. Our walking back from recess and you see this giant machine doing, you know, digging a hole, you're gonna stop and watch it, you know, to let those moments of hands-on, you know, those were our field experiences, to let them happen. Yeah, I'm excited for the new playground. Oh, that we get to eat in it. Because then we would have our own like area for food. And we I'm most excited that uh, in walking around campus, there will be no flooding. <laughs> um, walking little kids around in, in the puddles was, uh, was quite a challenge. So that's a very exciting thing about the new, about the new building. I think also um, what's exciting about the new building is seeing, um, seeing more of the whole community. Yeah, we definitely are kind of in our own little world over here. Um, and so being able to walk across campus every day to have lunch and be able to see the older kids and not just have lunch with our own grade level yeah. um, will really just help with relationships and, and seeing the school as a whole.